If your backyard is in the Bayside area of Virginia Beach and you're having trouble sleeping, Centera Bayside Hospital is the place to go. Dr. Thomas Scott is the Vice President of Medical Affairs. Our laboratory is uh, set up in a way so that we can evaluate people who have difficulty with sleep. You might not think of it as, as a big issue, but imagine a person who's too sleepy to drive or a person whose occupation is dependent upon being awake and rested and well, but who's not able to do it because of a medical problem. And there are a number of medical problems that, that might contribute to that. Along with several other Centera hospitals, Centera Bayside boasts a nationally accredited sleep disorders center, which is one of an elite group of only 600 in the country. In addition, one wing of the hospital includes an expanded emergency department and surgical suites. In the event that you experience a symptom that you think might be a heart attack, you ought to get to the closest available medical facility. And every Centera hospital is equipped to handle emergency heart attack patients, including life-saving cardiac catheterization and intervention. Centera Bayside Hospital is equipped and capable of managing your problem when you come into our door. The critical care unit is part of Centera's electronic ICU monitoring system called the EICU. We have physicians who are credentialed at our hospital but who are in an off-site facility who are able to monitor patients in the critical care beds at our hospital and assist those people on the ground in the building with delivering prompt care and continuing care in a way to, to maximize the benefits. Whatever your health care need, Centera Bayside Hospital can help you. People with pneumonia, people with heart conditions, people with diabetes, people with all sorts of things can find themselves right at home here in their own backyard with, with an, a, a facility that can, I think, capably and appropriately provide their care. The best medical science has to offer is available in community care at Centera. Centera Obesey Hospital continues a 50-year tradition of patient-centered care for the residents of Suffolk and the surrounding communities. Among its many services, it offers one of the newest options in breast reconstruction after mastectomy. Here's one woman's story. 49-year-old Vicki Albertson is a health care worker who's known many breast cancer survivors. But she was still shocked when she was diagnosed with the disease. It's just very overwhelming. And I, I mean, you're scared. And it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have, you're scared. Vicki chose plastic surgeon Dr. Helena Guarda to do her breast reconstruction. It's important to speak with the general surgeon, to speak with the oncologist and the plastic surgeon to decide which is the best treatment options at that time. Sometimes it's best to have immediate reconstruction. Sometimes it's best to delay reconstruction because the cancer needs to be treated first. And it's very variable. to Every situation is individualized. Dr. Guarda used a procedure called DIEP, or Deep Inferior Epigastric Perforator. This delicate microsurgery transfers tiny blood vessels, skin, and fat from the woman's own abdomen and reattaches it to the chest wall. Unlike conventional tram flap reconstruction, the abdominal muscle is left in place. The scar is essentially the same. It's a scar in the lower abdomen. You're still taking the same skin and fat, but instead of taking the muscle, you're now just taking the blood vessel that goes through the muscle but supplies the tissue. A key advantage to this surgery is that the damage to the abdominal muscle is minimal, so the muscle is not weakened. Most women don't do sit-ups every day, so they probably won't notice the difference in that, but they do notice the difference getting up out of bed, and their normal activities sometimes become easier, especially going from laying flat to sitting up. The surgery gave Vicki her figure back. I just can't imagine not having breath. That's part of being a woman, and I mean, I thought it wouldn't bother me, but it, it did. So I wanted to do this. And she's grateful she could find it in her own community. This is Janet Vassell reporting.